pap smear procedure. A pap smear, also called a pap test, is a screening procedure for cervical cancer. It tests for the presence of precancerous or cancerous cells on the cervix. The cervix is the opening of the uterus. During the routine procedure, cells from your cervix are gently scraped away and then examined for abnormal growth. The procedure is done at your doctor's office. It may be mildly uncomfortable, but doesn't usually cause any long-term pain. Keep reading to learn more about who needs a pap smear, what to expect during the procedure, how frequently you should have a pap smear test, and more. Who needs a pap smear? Most women should start getting regular pap smears at age 21. Some women may be at increased risk for cancer or infection. You may need more frequent tests if you are HIV positive. You have a weakened immune system from chemotherapy or an organ transplant. If you're over 30 and have had three normal pap tests in a row, ask your doctor about having one every five years if the test is combined with a human papillomavirus HPV, screening. HPV is a virus that causes warts. The primary causes of cervical cancer are HPV types 16 and 18. If you have HPV, you may have an increased risk for developing cervical cancer. Women over the age of 65 with a history of normal pap test results may be able to stop having pap smears in the future. You should still get regular pap smears even if you are in a monogamous relationship. That's because the HPV virus can be dormant for years, and then suddenly become active. How often do you need a pap smear? Age smaller than 21 years old, non-sexually active, no known risk factors. None needed. Age smaller than 21 years old, sexually active. Every 3 years. Age from 21 to 29 years old. Every 3 years. Age from 30 to 65 years old. Every 3 to 5 years if your pap smear and HPV test are negative. Age over 65 years. You may no longer need pap smear. Now we can watch the animated procedure. What do the results of a pap smear mean? Normal pap smear. If your results are normal, that means that no abnormal cells were identified. Normal results are sometimes also referred to as negative. If your results are normal, you probably won't need a pap smear for another three years. Abnormal pap smear. If the test results are abnormal, this doesn't mean you have cancer. It simply means that there are abnormal cells on your cervix, some of which could be precancerous. There are several levels of abnormal cells. Atopia. Mild. Moderate. Severe dysplasia. Carcinoma in situ. Milder abnormal cells are more common than severe abnormalities. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for other videos.